So hi there everybody and welcome to the Vustor YouTube channel. Today we want to talk about the differences between the Moza Air Cross, the smaller brother, to the big brother, the Moza Air. Stay tuned. So first off, the biggest difference is actually the payload that these two gimbals accept. The Moza Air Cross accepts 1.8 kilos and the Moza Air takes 3.2 kilos. So if you use slightly bigger cameras with bigger lenses, we would of course recommend the Moza Air. But saying that, the Moza Air Cross does take my Panasonic GH5 uh, with the Sigma 18 to 35. Another difference between these two gimbals is gonna be the price. A good thing here is that if you're looking to get the Moza Air Cross with a dual handle setup like this, uh, the price is more or less gonna be the same because in the package, uh, when you get the Moza Air, you actually get the dual handle uh, setup, which is really nice. But if you get the Moza Air Cross, you do get the tripod mount. Whereas if you buy the Moza Air setup, you won't get the tripod. So the, the motors are slightly bigger on the Moza Air. So, but if you do balance your gimbal correctly, the difference in motor size is going to be negligible. So there is actually not a big difference between these two gimbals. If you want the really light setup, I would go with the Moza Air Cross, but it is actually 200 grams lighter than the Moza Air. So if you have any questions for us, feel free to ask us in the comments and we will get back to you. And please subscribe to our channel. Until the next time, bye bye.